Um, I'm here to talk about some of our open programs that we have for Fall 21 and more of the engineering side. Uh, Scott takes care of IT, mine's more on the engineering side of things. Um, so a couple of our programs that we still have open uh, with, with a few seats left, uh, computer aided drafting and design, uh, it's one year program, data processing and reporting, uh, Power Engineering Techniques, which is fourth class, and I'll explain what that is a little bit more. Uh, process Quality Engineering, Quality Assurance, Assurance Manufacturing Management. So for the first program, uh, I want to talk about uh, data processing and reporting. And this is considered a one-year program, but it's actually eight months, so it's two semesters long. Um, this program is special in that uh, we're looking for students that are coming straight out of high school. Um, they're, you know, 19 years of age, uh, maturity, if they didn't finish high school, that kind of thing. Um, and their English may not be the best. So uh, students that are coming from other countries, we do offer uh, academic upgrading uh, for when you do come to the country and help you get those skills. Um, I know some students uh, in the chat here have been talking about, uh, you know, their skills, may, their English skills may not be up to par. Um, that's OK. You know, we're here to help with that as well. Um, courses in this program are more of your basic uh, you know, intro to computers, math fundamentals, safety in the workplace. What does that look like here in Canada? Um, safety is really important here in Canada. Um, we have lots of standards when it comes to uh, areas of industry. And so we talk about that. Um, data integrity, if you haven't seen that, say a theme kind of going around uh, today. That is very important uh, here in Canada. We want to make sure everyone's data uh, secure. This program is special because it has a field placement, so you will get out into industry, um, and, and there's so much more in this program. So for someone that, you know, doesn't feel like, you know, they have that degree yet, and but they want to come to Canada, this is a great program to start with. Um, you know, it's a, it's a data entry clerk kind of program. Uh, it's an entry level, you know, you're not going to be the CEO or a manager coming out with this with this program, but you are going to be in that entry level um, positions when you finish this program. Again, this is a one year program. So, you know, Kavya was talking about, you know, she chose a two year program um, because she was able to stay for three years. Well, how can you, you know, pro, um, pair this program? Another one of our great programs after you complete this program would be our computer aided drafting. Um, so uh, computer aided drafting and design, another one year program, eight months. So if you took these back to back, you're looking at 16 months together. Um, again, this is high school diploma or the mature student age. This one does have uh, those requirements for English and math. But if you've taken another program, uh, and you are successful, you know, we do have flexibility that way because then we'll, we'll see and you'll improve your skills as you're here. Um, so this really focuses on your AutoCAD, SolidWorks, engineering, uh, drawing and sketching, document management, cloud management, um, project management, uh, so much more. Uh, this has, a, again, another uh, safety and what does it look like for engineering in the workforce. A uh, great program uh, for someone that wants to get in and look at uh, the design of things. Um, here in engineer in our engineering capital, where uh, this is this is a big uh, hot item uh, for students. Um, so again, another entry level program, drafting person, uh, mechanical design areas. So. These two programs together are a great combination if you're looking for two programs together and you don't have a degree or diploma already. These are two perfect programs uh, for you. The next area that uh, we're going to talk about is power engineering. And power engineering here, uh, I, we say fourth class, and it's always confusing to people because they'll say, well, I don't have my first, second, or third class. It works backwards in power engineering. Fourth class is entry, third class is next, second, and then first. Uh, 
So fourth class engineering, uh, it is a one year program, 12 months. Um, it is a full 12 months because there is a field placement. Um, so students go uh, their second semester, they go to a power plant, they work there, they get that hands-on training. Um, you know, college is really about that hands-on training. This program is fantastic for that. Uh, this program only starts once a year. It only starts in the fall. Um, so we do have a few seats left for fall um, that we're holding for some international students. So if you're, if you, and this is a very high demand industry and good paying jobs. This is a, um, and there's room to grow. Power engineering here in Canada, uh, the average age of a power engineer is 62. Most people retire around 65. So there is lots of room for growth uh, in this career because there are going to be so many people retiring and opportunities to grow. Um, like I said, it's, it's a fourth class power engineer. One of the great things is we have a third class. So if you go do your power engineering fourth class, you go get a job and you're like, this is really great. Uh, but if I had a third class ticket, then I could get a higher paying job. You can always come back to Conestoga and complete that. We're actually looking at creating uh, a diploma program where you would take the fourth and third class together. So there's lots of opportunities uh, at Conestoga for power engineers. Um, you know, you're going to have courses in uh, water treatment, high pressure boilers, combustion. Um, and again, that field placement, I cannot emphasize enough how uh, rich and um, meaningful that that field placement is for students because uh, most of our students, once they finish the program, you know, they're looking for a job, they can use that field placement and those um, those power engineers to have a recommendation to get a job. We've had some that even get jobs at the places where they've had their field placements. So it's a great opportunity to get your foot in the door. Um, now with this program, because it is a power engineer and is such a safety driven program and job here in Canada, the uh, technical standards and safety authority here in Canada, we call them TSSA, they have an exam that you must uh, pass in order to become a fourth class engineer. So this program is getting you ready for that. Once students graduate, they should be ready as long as they've done all the work and, and you know really paid attention in class, they should be able to pass that exam no problem. So um, this program gets you ready for that and gets you out into the field and into the workforce right away. So the next programs I want to talk about are our uh, quality programs. So these programs are fantastic and that they are, um, I like to call them uh, sister programs or dual programs. So when you're looking um, at a at a one year program, you're always looking, you know, what can you take with that one year program to get that two year, uh, two years of education for a three year visa. Um, and this, these two programs pair extremely well together. I uh, always recommend taking the quality assurance for manufacturing management first. It pretty much sets up the program, sets up the, the design of everything. Um, the courses are, are more introductory. And then when you take process quality engineering in, in year two, um, it's more in depth. That's when you have that advanced design of experiments, um, quality. Um, each program is eight months long, so you can be completed uh, two years in 16 months. Um, this is a postgraduate program, so you do have to have a diploma or degree, a uh, two or three year diploma or degree, and you do have to meet the um, English scores for this. Um, the careers in this, we have students that are working um, in in the dairy fields, uh, custom manufacturing. We have students at Toyota. We have um, in in uh, and, and what is this exactly? Um, I didn't really explain this. This one's all about quality um, when it comes to you know is the product uh, when something's manufactured and designed, is it up to specifications? Is are, are the tools that created this? Were they correct? Is the sizing right? Is the, you know, what 
the customer wants is it exactly what it needs to be um, so this program is all about that um, and these two combined programs are fantastic together um, if you're looking for one program over another I would say your quality assurance manufacturing management is more of the introductory program um, so these are fantastic programs and you should take uh, a closer look at those on our website as well um, and finally um, I wanted to talk about uh, a new program coming in winter 22. So our business supply chain and operations for commercial trucking. This is a brand new program, first of its kind here in Canada. And it's a two-year um, diploma here at Conestoga, but it's 16 months long. And what does that mean? That means you're taking four semesters straight. So there's no break, which, you know, people are like, oh, I really like to have that summer break. But when you do for semester straight, that means you're out in industry quicker. That means you can get a job quicker. That means you, you know, you know, all that money you're spending on schooling, you can actually go and recoup that money because you're in industry, you're working. Um, the trucking industry here in Canada um, and in North America as a whole, I should say, um, are lacking professionals. Uh, they are in desperate need here in Canada. We're 55,000 um, uh, people short in our in the supply chain trucking industry in the u.s there it's even more so there's lots of opportunity um this program is fantastic in that we train um you not only to um you know the list logistics how to load uh an 18 wheeler you know health and safety again uh and this is all about trucking it's customer service what does it mean? Um, you know, how do you do dispatch here in Canada? Um, questions I always get, well, once I complete this, can I go and drive a truck? So we have partnered up with a great company here in, in Canada, Challenger, and they have the actual trucking school. Because here in Canada, again, very safety regulated, uh, there is a program called MELT, and it's weirdly 103.5 hours of training that you have to do and with challenger when you're when you're a student and you graduate from this program they actually give you a thousand dollars off that training so when you take this program you can do everything when it comes to cus when it comes to commercial trucking except for drive the truck um, and that's only because of the regulations that are set by the ministry of transportation here in ontario um, so you do have to go to uh, Challenger or, or, or a company like that and get your uh, AZ license is what it's called here. Um, and so we always encourage students when they're applying for this program, if in the back of your mind you want to, you know, drive the truck in the end, um, that's fantastic. But when you get to Canada, you need to go ahead and uh, get your uh, Ontario driver's license uh, to get that process started. So, and it's just a regular driver's license to drive a car because uh, you have to have that for so long before you can drive a truck. So this is a fantastic program. Um, you know, we're, we're really working with our industry partners to make sure that students are job ready when they finish this program. Uh, we have some of the, the big uh, way freight uh, is one of the companies here in Canada. Um, they actually donated this truck to our program. Um, so when you're taking the uh, trucking and, and uh, trucking and repair program course, you'll actually take apart this truck right here. Um, and they're great partners and their their CEO has been a fantastic part of developing this program. But we also have these, these industry experts to um, come and help design the courses. So people that know what they're talking about and are doing the jobs every day are the ones that are going to be teaching you and the ones that are going to be developing these courses. So they know exactly what they're talking about and they're going to teach you exactly what you need to know to get into these jobs. Um, down here at the bottom you see supply chain operations manager, managers, commercial trucking uh, specialists, um, commercial driver schedulers, all of these jobs are high demand here in Canada and um, Challenger, the one that uh, does the, the AZ licensing, they have over 100 jobs posted currently, um, which 
you would you would have a chance at applying for and getting once you complete this program because they are in that need. Mm -hmm.